you get me. What's going on everybody, it's Lariel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to hop right into it. I'm going to be using Serato Sample. Shout out to Serato for sending me Sample and Studio. Uh, today I'm going to be focused on Sample. Later this week or next week, I'm going to be doing a video on Serato Studio, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you get me. Also, there's a link down in the description below to get a discount on Serato Sample and Serato Studio, so check that out. So I have an instance of Serato sample open. It opens up just like any other VST plugin does, which is really dope. I have this sample loaded in right now, and we're just gonna give it a listen, and then I'm gonna show you some features of Serato sample. So right now my tempo is set to 100, so it's already stretched it down to 100. The original tempo is a lot faster than that. Um, so yeah, like right when you drop a sample in here, it syncs it to your tempo, which is dope. If you didn't want it to sync, you can uncheck this sync button over here, and it goes to the original tempo. I'm going to sync it. Keeps it a lot easier. If you want to pitch it up or down, you could do so right here. Let's check it out. Make it a little bit darker, maybe. That's pretty dope. Hey. All right, so now let's get into the chopping. Bottom left corner, you can choose right here, this little arrow, it says find samples. You could do random slicer or find samples. Let's do, um, hmm, let's do slicer. And then just hit that button, it's gonna slice it. If you want like wider, longer chops, you can hit that arrow. Maybe let's try chops around that, see what that sounds like. And they automatically go into your keyboard your regular computer keyboard or your MIDI controller, which is really dope. And see how that sample stops as soon as you let go of the key? You can click this little button in the top left next to the play button. So if you want, they just play out. Fire. You can get a lot more into it if you wanted to. If you wanted to change the length of your chops, you could do so right here by moving these cursors around. It's really, really user friendly. If you wanted to time stretch a specific sample, you could just click on it right here. So now we're selected on that red one, on that Z. And if you wanted to time stretch just that one, you could. We're gonna go back to zero. I don't wanna time stretch it. But there's a lot of versatility in this plugin. It's really dope. And if you wanted to save a chop and save a favorite a, a sample, you could do so right here. And if you wanted to, also you could change the level of each sample. All you gotta do is click it. You could turn that one up. It just turns just that one up. You could see these uh, little knobs are all red. That means you're on this sample right here. We're on this like light yellow green one. You wanna change those, you could see it's really easy to use and keep track of. Like I said, I just started using this and I already pretty much know uh, what everything does in here. I think what I'm gonna do is go to the playlist song mode and we're gonna record notes, turn the automation off. So that way I'm just gonna like play the metronome. I'll put an empty pattern up here and then I'm just gonna play uh, like a random melody out. Let's do a count in, stretch this out a little bit. And then we can go back and fine tune afterwards too. This doesn't have to be permanent, but sometimes you get a better vibe when you play it out. Something cool that you can do is send this to a mixer track, number two, and then we can record that to audio. Um, you know, arm that to record, Alt R. Now if you want, you can mute the original MIDI, and now we have this as a sample, so you can kind of resample the sample if that makes sense. Something that I like to do a lot. Let's uh, normalize it, generic bleeding on, so we don't get any uh, harsh little clicks and pops. And if you wanted to, we can bring it down, make it unique. And let's maybe low pitch this one. This is something that I like to do to kind of beefing up melodies and uh, samples. So let's and uh, let's send these two to the mixer, two different mixer tracks, the high and low pitch ones.
let's throw a percussion loop in there. Let's get some drums going, some kicks and snares and claps. I'm gonna send these a little bit early because there's a delay on this clap, which is cool. So I'm just doing, that's why I'm doing them a click early. Add some swing to it too. Let's record some hats, maybe a little bit of swing to them. I think I'm gonna quantize those. I want them to sound sloppy and loose. This is gonna end up being like a boom bap sort of lo-fi type beat. Dope. Yeah, I'm gonna add some kicks. I'm gonna do them manually to give it a nice swing too, and then I'll go back in, maybe quantize them by hand. All these kicks are pretty much maxed out at the volume, which is going to give it that like hardest punch that we can get. Yeah, so it sounds nice. I think I'm going to add a little bit of bass to it and give it a structure, and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final product. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that link down in the description. Get a discount on Serato Sample and Serato Studio if you get me.